You're listening to Sin, and this is Dominic, and I'm joined with uh, Spencer from Periphery. How are you? I'm good, man. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm good. You're here to talk about a couple of things. You've got, uh, you've got a, you're on tour at the moment, and you've got a new release. It's called Clear. I just wanted to ask, because uh, it's, it's not an EP and it's not an LP, so what do you describe <laughs> it as? Uh, we, we've just been telling people it's kind of like a cool little experiment. It's like an experimental record, I guess. Yeah. I read that, uh, I know that you're, you guys are influenced by bands like um, Deftones and like Tool, Meshuggah, but uh, I, read sure. that, uh, I read that you're actually, there was some Kiss or Melvin's influences on this record, or is that, uh, is that true? Did you, or? Think, did you think Kiss? Well, uh, I, I actually read <laughs> that, um, that Kiss was sort of an inspiration in the fact uh, you guys each produced a different song like they, like they have. Oh, no, I mean, I, I guess we kind of did do the same thing that they did, but um, that definitely wasn't inspired by Kiss in any way, or form. <laughs> yeah, it was just kind of a cool idea. Actually, um, Steph uh, Carpenter from the Deftones uh, planted the seed for the idea in our heads, you know. Uh, we, when we were on tour with them, he just comes up with a lot of cool ideas, and uh he came up with that idea and was like, yeah, man, you guys should try it. And we, uh, we decided to go with it, man. It's turning out pretty cool. Yeah, it is. It is really cool. Like, it's, it sort of jumps all over the place with all, all sorts of genres. But you guys, I guess you guys are sort of known for doing that, which is really yeah. cool stuff. <laughs> yeah, man. It's, it's funny. It keeps things fresh. Yeah, yeah. And it, it is exciting to listen to. So, you're on tour at the moment with uh, one of my uh, favorite bands, actually, Animals with Leaders. Oh yeah, dude! So, Animals are great. Yeah, they're, they're actually they're playing some new stuff from their upcoming record on the store, and it's it's pretty heavy, man. It's awesome. I mean, the last time we played here was like three years ago with uh, with Dillinger, and we opened, so it's it's really cool to come back and and headline. Yeah, that is that is pretty awesome. I actually got to see you guys uh, when you were touring with Dillinger way back that the you know, oh, right three years on, ago. Man. Yeah, I think I saw you in uh, in Sydney though. It was a uh, really awesome. <laughs> you guys are great, great live, amazing live. Oh, thank you, man. Well, we're uh, we're much better now, so you got to come out and see us now. Yeah, we'll do. <laughs> <laughs> and how has the the tour been? Is, is like the the heat wave? You've been suffering through the heat wave much? Suffering? No, man. It's it's awesome. I I, w- I welcome any heat that comes my way because uh, well, back home right now it's about ten degrees Fahrenheit. So I mean, compare that to where we're at right now. It's like what, like ninety or hundred Fahrenheit, which is awesome. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> have you had a chance to go down to the to the beach? Had any time off at all? We haven't. We actually haven't had any time off. We uh, we've been here for three days and played three shows, and we're flying out at six o'clock in the morning tomorrow to go to Bangkok. So, oh my god! You know, unfortunately, we haven't had a lot of downtime, but I mean, it's still nice to be here. It's nice to be amongst good people uh, in Australia and great weather so it, it's like a little bit of a vacation for us every time we're here that is a hectic schedule though very it busy is. but it's you know it's, it's part of the job it comes with the territory are you working on new stuff for, to come out this year or because I saw that there was a release that yeah. you were working on that you've shelved we're actually taking um, we're doing this this cruise in a couple weeks um, it's like a Prog Nation uh, cruise with, with animals and a bunch of other bands and after that we're taking like six months off to write and record our next record and um, if all goes according to plan it should be out later this year or early next year crazy so that's uh, two releases in one year that's a pretty busy year yeah, we we figured it was just, it was something cool to just give the fans because we had some we had some downtime, you know, and we we're like, oh, let's put this thing together, give it to the fans, um, you know, give them some new material to hold them over to the next release. But it wasn't like meant to buy us any more time or anything like that. Like, like we're not we're not like slacking on our on our schedule for our next record. You know, we're we're still moving full force with it. So hopefully it'll be be out by uh, the end of this year. Oh, okay. Cool. That is, that is cool. The Juggernaut, I just re- briefly read about the Juggernaut. Is, is that the next album, or is that just a project that's been shelved, or do you know much about the Juggernaut project? Yeah, we, we've been tossing a lot of ideas back and forth. There's nothing definitive yet. It may The next album may be Juggernaut. It may not. We'll just see how things go once we uh, get together and start writing uh, a lot more ideas for it. That's cool. That's really cool. <laughs> this is actually like my first ever interview, so this is pretty oh, wild for me. You're doing, you're doing fine, man. Um, thank you. So, any plans to come back in the 
anytime? Absolutely. We're, we're always looking to come back anytime we can. You know, it just depends on whether we get offers and whatnot. And, uh, you know, hopefully we get an offer for Soundwave next year. That would, that would be awesome. We'd take it in a heartbeat and get our asses down here. You're a big fan of the Soundwave Festival. Yeah, we played it last year, and it was a, it was a great success for us, and we had a lot of fun. That's cool. Yeah. Because... <laughs> AJ can be a pretty crazy character. Do you have to deal directly with AJ at all, or is that? No, I've never, I've never even met AJ. I don't even know what he looks like. He's just kind of this dude I know exists, and I uh, don't know what he looks like. Never met him, but he handles all of our shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, as long as he does the business, I guess it's all good then. Yeah, exactly. Are you looking to get any big name producers for the next release, or are you guys just going to keep like doing your own, like self-producing, since you guys are so uh, good at doing your own stuff, like doing your own? We're not, we're not really sure yet. That's that'll probably um, that decision will come once we see what kind of material we're pumping out. You know, we, we've already we've already written a lot, written a lot of stuff for the next record, mm -hmm. but until we like really start um, solidifying the songs, we won't really know what we're doing yet. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. It may go either way that's cool so clears out right now do you would, would you prefer people get things digitally or like like a physical release what do you what do you what is your preference it doesn't matter to me i personally like having digital copies i i, I don't know i just i feel like the the physical cases and stuff just like start piling up for, for me anyways mm -hmm. you know like it just really depends on what people's preferences are I guess is that sort of why the the clear is like a completely blank case like there's n almost nothing on it at all it's like uh, we just we just kind of wanted to do something that stood out you know like it, it, it's funny that we you strip everything away and it, and it stands out you know because <laughs> everything else everything else in stores and stuff is just so heavily it's like it, there's a lot of bright colors and, and artwork and stuff and when you take it all away it's like wow that that cd really stands out you know yeah it's like a like a reinvention of of the concept of like the black album or something like that you just like yeah if you strip everything away so it stands speaks out. for itself you yeah. Know? yeah yeah peripheries clear is on the shelves now thank you spencer for joining me today no worries man thanks for having me